okay, you all know who I want to be, but I'm probably going to get Hunter because he's not my favourite. Not that I hate him or anything, so... Yay! I get to blow things up and hit people really hard. That sounds like a good way. <laughs> come to a really funny realization that almost every single one of my community guidelines violations have been a crosshair video so uh he's kind of uh sticking in with the whole uh, problematic fave um <laughs> it's, i gotta laugh or i'm gonna cry the first guy in your camera roll is your secret boyfriend it was either going to be Rex or Fives. And today it's Fives, so yay! Hello there. Use this sound and this Star Wars character filter to create your epic Star Wars story. Let's begin. Your story begins on the planet of Tatooine, and upon arrival, this is the first person you meet. Well into your close friendship, this is the person that tries to tear you both apart. You and your best friend find out that you are both force sensitive and this person tries to recruit you into the Jedi Order. Time passes by and you both start to feel a rift between yourselves and the Jedi and this is who tries to recruit you into the Sith Order. You both struggle with the pull from the dark side but this is who brings you both back to the light. Your best friend has been captured and this is who you recruit as your backup for a rescue mission. The enemy has been defeated and peace has been restored, but this person was the casualty. I have been thinking about the Bad Batch. It's a bad idea, I'm well aware. However, something that really, really annoys me and people don't seem to understand is a lot of Crosshair stands do the whole, well, the Bad Batch never tried to rescue Crosshair, and that's a very valid point. And everyone keeps saying, but he's constantly surrounded by stormtroopers, etc. I have a counterpoint. When the Bad Batch come for Hunter, they're going back to Camino. They do not know that it is mostly abandoned. They do not know if they are walking into a trap. They think, as far as anyone else across the entire galaxy is aware, that it is the home of the clone troopers and is currently possessed of thousands, if not millions, of the bastards. So, the whole... Why didn't we go for Crosshair because he was surrounded by bad guys makes no sense in relation to Hunter. Both, as far as they were concerned, were surrounded, but they'd go for Hunter, but not for Crosshair. This frustrates me. Put a finger down, popular Star Wars opinions edition. Put a finger down if your favourite Jedi is Obi-Wan. Put a finger down if your favourite Sith is Darth Vader. Put a finger down if your favourite non-Force user is Han Solo. Put a finger down if your favourite droid is R2-D2. Put a finger down if your favourite film is either Revenge of the Sith or The Empire Strikes Back. Put a finger down if your least favourite film is either The Attack of the Clones or The Last Jedi. Put a finger down if you prefer Rogue One to Solo. Put a finger down if your favourite female character is Leia. Put a finger down if your favourite battle was Obi-Wan vs Anakin. And put a finger down if you only prefer The Phantom Menace to Attack of the Clones because of Darth Maul. Let's keep going. Put a finger down if you preferred Mandalorian to most of the sequel films. Put a finger down if you think Rey should have been a Grey Jedi. Put a finger down if you think Kylo Ren should have lived. And put a finger down if you think Han shot first. So I've just been re-watching The Bad Batch, season one, to kind of give myself some heartbreak, clearly, because, like, yeah, Echo and Crosshair are my favourites, and neither of them actually get much proper development, and one of them got turned completely 180 from what he was in Clone Wars. But anyway, I thought of something while watching the entire series in one day, or a couple of days anyway, very close. Anyway, um, Omega, when they go back for her the first time, she knows about that secret platform, but she doesn't tell them about the secret platform in Aftermath. If she's as intelligent as everyone says she is, she would have figured out that that platform would be really useful and hey, Hunter, Tech, Echo, one of you, here's the secret platform, but we don't find out about it until the Bad Batch do. And if I was the Bad Batch, I'd be pissed. We had a way of getting in, getting you and getting out with very few people knowing and you didn't tell us. Oh, 
it is apparently cat time of the day again but i want to show you something that i found that i really really like look at this how cute is that it's an ahsoka tano itter bag but i was so heartbroken to find out that this is sold out however my second favorite lady she's available so guess who just did a dumbass thing like a week later so me i'm the dumbass so i've been feeling really kind of shitty recently things are not going well but i treated myself i got the i am a clone trooper book i mean it it's really cute and it has all of my favorite boys in it We've got rex who is of course like best captain we've even got my girl ahsoka and boy anakin uh, Jesse does not look good with a beard. <laughs> you even got crosshair. And Kicks looking after Rex like the good medic that he is. Uh, and this tech. You're gonna make me cry. We got the boys all together too. This is the ending that I want for Captain Rex. So overall, really cheered me up. Made me feel better. Mwah. Love it.